Hey, this is Father of Father and Son Investing. I thought I'd give you guys a quick tutorial about setting up a custodial account for your teenager. So I found that uh, one of the easiest places to set this up was with Schwab. Why did I choose Schwab? Well, in part because they make their uh, instructions pretty straightforward. They have no limit on how much money is needed for a child to invest. What do I mean by that? Well, at some places, the funds are so expensive that your child, who might only have $50 or $100, can't really get to do much practice investing, especially when there's a $3,000 limit on some of the funds. But that doesn't exist at Schwab. The other nice things about Schwab, you can see here on their overview, there are no contribution limits. A custodial account is generally funded by parents, although if your teenager is old enough, they can start to fund it themselves. But otherwise, you're going to be setting it up through gift money. A parent can contribute up to $15,000 each, which means that you and your spouse could potentially give your child $30,000 a year. Trust me, I don't give my child that much money. What happens with this custodial account? Well, technically, it's managed by a parent, but the money does actually belong to a child. So once that money goes in there, it's theirs. You can't decide later you want to take it back. And if for some reason you do use some of the money, it has to be used explicitly for the benefit of the minor child. You can decide what age you want to give your child access to that money. It can be 18, it can be 21, it could be even up to 25 in some states. What did I do for my son? Well, we set it up for when he turns 18. So once he officially turns 18, that money is totally his and he can manage it in any way that he wants to. How do you go about setting up your child's custodial account? Well, there's a, there's a few things you're gonna need before you get started. One is your social security number your driver's license number, your employer's name and address, contact information including the birth date and social security number of the minor, and statement information for funds you may want to transfer. That means bank account, routing numbers, and uh, account numbers. You're going to fund this account generally through electronic transfers, although it is possible to write a check and take a picture of it and deposit into your child's custodial account that way. How do you get started? Well, you simply go to the schwab.com custodial uh, account page and you're going to click on this button here that says open a custodial account. Once you get there, you will, if you already have a Schwab account, you'll use that as your login ID. If you're absolutely new to Schwab, then you can see there you'll click on the no, I'm new to Schwab. I'm going to click on no, I'm new to Schwab. You'll start by providing some personal information. You can see there, it, it's not too difficult. Name, address, social security number, number, and your mother's maiden name, which can be helpful when you're trying to get back into your account after you've been locked out and you have to call the Schwab people. Once you've done that, you'll simply input information for your minor. You're gonna put in the account information. You'll have to read through some terms and click on some boxes and accept them. And then you can fund the account, again, either by electronic transfer or by personal check. That's it, pretty simple for a Schwab custodial account. Now this type of account is a brokerage account. Setting up an IRA for your child is a little bit more uh, difficult, but not too much more. And we'll talk next time about setting up an IRA account for your child and why you might want to do that. Till then, talk to you guys later.